Continuing our travel to Europe, we had a layover in Bangkok coming from the Philippines and in our last vlog, I shared to you how to travel to the city center of Bangkok from the airport via train if you are on a layover. And now we are going to visit the new hangout place of Bangkok which is Siam Square dubbed as the Myeongdong of Bangkok. We are also going to visit this Thai Shrine which you shouldn't miss when in Bangkok. And before anything else, let me introduce myself. It's me again, The Wainer, your travel and lifestyle vlogger, giving you a list of your travel itineraries which you can truly enjoy. Also, don't forget to support this channel by subscribing and hitting the notification bell. And follow my social media accounts and my online travel articles in Manila Bulletin Lifestyle. So guys, we've finally arrived here at Siam Station. So this is one of the busiest stations here in Bangkok, especially in the BTS line because all of the shopping malls is just within the vicinity of Siam. All right, like the famous Siam Paragon. So for this layover, we are going to visit the newly constructed Siam Center, which is dubbed as the Myeongdong of Bangkok. So guys, we're just walking towards where the people are, but we're not really sure if this is Siam Square, but it looks like. So let's see, let's explore. We still have time. Yeah, okay, so, so this is the Siam Square, I believe. Okay, how about guys? Okay. I'm gonna cross the street. Yeah, it, it's, it's, yeah, correct. Uh, so, what can you say, Mark? Since you also have been to Myeongdong. Uh, yeah, twice. maybe 10% maybe, uh, of Myeongdong. Wow, 10% only? Yeah. No, but it looks nice, diba? At least they have, you know, like uh, a square like this. Diba? Yeah, siya, it actually, the reason why it looks like Myeongdong is because there's a lot of, you know, uh, retail shops, um, cosmetics, you know, um, establishments about clothing, fashion, food. And, and of course, Myeongdong is very known for its colorful stores, right? Yep. Very, very colorful. <laughs> so, what you'll notice in this place is that people, I think Thai, and they seem to be, you know, uh, very young people, uh, they actually go here to take pictures, you know? see that so okay so it, this seem, seems to be a place for Instagram poses uh, Facebook poses you no know, or for your Facebook profile or social media profile So guys, let's explore this. Uh, what do you call this? Mga uh, street market. street market. Yeah, street market. So we'll explore the street market because Myeongdong is also famous for a lot of things that you can actually buy in the street. Not just the stores, the shops, the buildings there, but also the street markets and the street food. So let's check out what you guys can actually buy here in Siam Square. So as you can see, more on fashion clothes for girls, females, food, Thai food. Crip. Okay. 
good geese, I suppose. Yeah, yeah oh, nice. Let's check out if there is a stall for guys. You know. So there's also malls where there is an air conditioning system or air conditioning system, I mean. So if you want to be inside, you can do that. But if outside, oh, definitely yes. Okay, so jewelries. Oh, nice. Uh, mostly for girls. Clothes for girls, eh? Uh huh. Buy four. Ring for 40. You think that's 40 baht? Okay, necklaces. T shirts. Pajamas. Okay. Are on accessories for your phone, your mobile phone, clothing. Yeah, basically that's it. Mostly for female, no? For the okay. Mark, what's it done? Okay. okay, so I need then some Mark. Okay. Uh, we're gonna try to go inside the mall. Just to freshen up, no? There's also convenience stores. And so if you bring your sister, your mom, if you're a working professional, casual, you know, streetwear, you can buy it here. You know, let's go inside. So if you feel hot, Outside, you can go inside the mall. Okay. Anyway, it's all interconnected. The malls here are all interconnected. It's connected to the BTS station. So guys, let me show you one of the famous shopping center or shopping mall here in Bangkok, which is Siam Paragon, you know. So if you are into shopping, don't miss this place. You know, all you have to do is just a light at Siam Station and you're surrounded with all of the shopping centers, the malls, you know, where you can buy a lot of, you know, clothes, of course, fashion and other stuff that you are looking for. And guys, once you enter Siam Paragam, you'll notice that all of the luxury brands are actually here like Dior, LV, Fendi, you know, Prada. So if you're into luxury, you know, uh, items, bags, then this mall is for you. And guys, we're gonna visit a famous shrine which is surrounded by a lot of malls. Which and they call it Erawan Shrine. It's so famous because the locals and even tourists are actually praying for it, you know. So we'll be visiting that shrine at least, you know, just to show you guys of the unique culture of Thailand. And uh, so that you know, at least you can see their, their uh, rich culture. You see, you won't be able to visit the grand palaces and the temples that is so famous here in Thailand because we're only on layover and at least you know you guys can see uh, a bit of their uh, 
a bit of Thai culture. Uh, around China, that that way. So this is also something that I like from uh, Bangkok is that it's actually walkable. You can actually walk uh, beneath the train station. You know, there's a skyway, if I may call it that way. And it's actually connected to the different uh, places here, especially the malls. So now you can actually see, you know, the the day-to-day -day local scene here in Bangkok. Another thing that is noticeable here in Thailand is that there the rivers in the city is clean because they're they're actually utilizing it for public transport. In fact, they're also uh, Thailand is also famous for their floating market. So right now, uh, time it's past 3 p.m. The only catch here in Bangkok is that just like any other big cities, it's actually traffic. You know, in major roads or national roads so that's why if you're going here you can take the train lines of Bangkok or you can tra take the Tuk Tuk Guys, we finally arrived to Erawan Shrine. Okay, so let me just show it to you guys. This famous shrine surrounded by malls. So those are actually the offerings, and there's a performance type performance. So there, and of course, there are one shrine. This was actually erected in 1956. Um, it was actually erected in, by the Erawan Hotel, which is a government-owned uh, hotel, to cast away bad luck during the construction of the Erawan Hotel. Okay, I'm not sure if it's still the Erawan Hotel, but it says Erawan Banco. So this shrine is dedicated to really, you know, um, uh, cast away. You know the bad luck and more luck for business okay. so it's so famous because if you're alighting at Chitlom station and you pass by the sky park or the skywalk I mean you'll see this Erawan shrine okay. so that's how um, unique the culture of Thai okay. and of course as you can see there are a lot of flowers okay. they are actually offering it And some Thai performance okay and there's a guy in front I think the guy is actually praying okay and the dancers the Thai dancers is helping him I guess for his prayer to be granted by Brahma okay okay that's actually the statue of uh, Brahma So that's how they offer it. Yeah.
On our next vlog, we are going to do local Thai street food exploration before we go to Europe, which you should try when in Bangkok. So don't forget to like, comment, and please subscribe because here, you're the Wainer 